Many big stars went home last night from the Grammys with awards, but that's not what everyone was talking about today. WNCT's Tamara Scott talked with some people here in the East about how they feel political aspects of the award show dampen the mood. Many artists, including Bruno Mars, stole the show at Sunday night's Grammy Awards. And while the show was entertaining, some feel there were too many political themes. Uh, I think that if, if we are going to talk about politics, um, I don't think it needs to be in a hostile way or we should be putting anyone down. ECU student Tova Mosley is referring to this adaptation of the controversial book about President Trump, Fire and Fury read by many celebrities, including former presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. He had a longtime fear of being poisoned. One reason why he liked to eat at McDonald's. Nobody knew he was coming, and the food was safely pre-made. That's it. We've got it. That's the one. The political agenda disapproval soon spread to Twitter, where even U.S. Ambassador Nikki Haley says she had enough, saying, quote, I've always loved the Grammys, but to have artists read the Fire and Fury book killed it. Don't ruin great music with trash. Some of us love music without the politics thrown in it. Others have also seen a trend. Basically, mainly everything is what, what the president was doing, what he did last night, or it just, everything goes off topic. The whole show wasn't geared toward President Trump. Kesha's performance of her Grammy-nominated song, Praying. brought more awareness to the Me Too and Time's Up movements. Mosley says she hopes celebrities just stick to standing up for what's right. I guess that's her platform, but that's a platform that all of us can agree on and can um, have justice for. In Greenville, Tamara Scott, 9 on your side.